Hey, and welcome back to Mrs. DeVita's art room. I am Miss DeVita, and tonight we are going to draw a sea turtle scene. So, let's get started. Grab your paper. Grab a pencil or a pen or whatever you prefer to draw with. And let's get going. So what we're going to do, friends, is we are going to start with the bodies of our sea turtles, which are kind of an oval shape here. So we're going to come in. I'm going to use my pen today, actually. And we're going to start by drawing a couple ovals. So I'm going to draw one large one and one smaller one. And they do not have to be perfect. Do not worry if it's perfect because you can go back in. And this is sort of a pen and ink drawing, which I went over with watercolor. So feel free, like I said, to always work back into something if you want to. I've got my shells here. And again, I realize that's not perfect, but you can always go back and work into something. Okay. Perfectly imperfect. Now we're going to do some fins. So it's kind of like a, almost like a V shape or like a rabbit ear. See that? So the front fins of our sea turtle look like this. They are bent. And the back fins are more like a triangle or a triangular shape. So they come out like that. Okay. And I can kind of come in with a little pattern or design. So the marker here, same thing over here. Okay. And I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna make my head. Maybe some little eyes. Got nostrils. Okay. Maybe some little spots on my sea turtle. Sea turtles will oftentimes have these spots on their fins and on their head, etc. etc. Alright. So if you want to do those, that's fine. If you don't. That's fine as well. This is your sea turtle drawing. Okay. All right. Got it going on. All right. Good job. See what I'm doing? Kind of a V. And I know this is a bit of an advanced drawing, but. You can stop the video, slow it down at any time. If you need to catch up. All right, let's see what I'm doing, friends. I don't, it does not have to be perfect. There's little nostrils going on. Now, the shells have somewhat unique designs on them. You have like a turtle shell kind of thing going on with those little hexagons or octagons or whatnot that's on there. Now those don't have to be perfect. What I can do is I can kind of come in, just make almost a pattern of sorts on my shell. Here I've got that kind of coming in. Same thing right over here. All right. Again, I can come back in and do a little bit more detail, etc. to that. I can come in and do some sort of pattern within those. It's the really nice thing about this. So you can get some pattern, etc. going on. I can do something different over here on my smaller turtle shell. Alright, so what I got going on there. Okay, now what, once I've got my turtles in there, what I probably wanna do is maybe come back in, down here and figure out what's going on with my C4. Do I have rocks down there? Do I have coral down there? What's going on at the C4 there? I could, I could do some like little texture here. That's the fun thing about this drawing is you can kind of just make lots of different lines, almost like you're doing a zentangle and really do some interesting stuff with your textures 
and all that. You can come in, maybe a little bit of sand going on or some seaweed. Seaweed is easy if you're making seaweed. If you remember from back when we did our, I believe it was our mermaid drawing maybe. A little seaweed, a little overlapping maybe. Okay, got that going on. I, on this one right here, I even did a cute little seahorse. You can add things like seahorses, fish. I did a little mermaid tail coming in there. You do not have to do that, but if you want to, you could have something, some sort of fish tail, or maybe have, I don't know, a whale tail. You could have a shark coming into your picture. I know we did a shark a few weeks back, but a little mermaid tail coming on in. Okay. So we got a lot of stuff going on in our picture, don't we? Um, what you can do, once you're done with that, the nice thing I like to do is maybe come back over with like a watercolor wash. You could do pastel or something like that. Um, come back in though. I really like to add a lot of texture and pattern into my pictures. So you could come in and of course you don't want to draw through that turtle. I make those waves like you can get a lot of current, a lot of pattern going on where those waves are back into your background. You see that? Make some dots on the sand if I wanted to. You could get as complicated or as easy as you want to. So there we have it, friends. We have our wonderful sea turtle picture. And you can take, like I said, you can take your watercolor palette or whatever it is you have at home and you can come in and you can come back in and do a little bit of watercolor or coloring onto that however you want to do thank you for tuning in see you tomorrow bye